No, I didn't grow up on a farm. What happened was maybe 2005, 2006, I came down to visit one of my buddies and one of his neighbors owned horses. He said, hey, let's go for a horse ride. And I was like, well, I, you know, I've rode, ridden horses before, but not really just kind of freely. And so the first thing the horse does is take off 300 yards, running full speed, sprinting. Luckily, because I had no knowledge of how to do it, I, I was able to stay on. That's why I say luckily. I was able to stay on. Um, and then after they calmed me down and the horse down a little bit, we were able to go on like a two hour trail ride. And it was just fantastic. It was relaxing. And that was the real reason I bought the farm because of how relaxing it was to go on a trail ride and be able to be out in nature and enjoy horses. It was just absolutely great. Ponds like this, they get these, these little plants called duckweed, which is all over the pond. So now, we're starting the process of getting rid of the duckweed and what we've introduced into the pond is a fish called koi that will eat the duckweed. And so instead of spraying products and chemicals to kind of kill it, we're trying to do it the natural way and we'll see how it goes. This is stuff like when you have a farm, you know, it's, it's all about money. And so <laughs> you have to research stuff, you have to Google stuff, you have to look things up. It's all about trying to educate yourself. You talk to people that have done it before, um, trying to educate yourself so that you're not spending more money to try to find out these answers. And um, in, in life, a lot of times mistakes cost money. And so you try to educate yourself beforehand um, so you won't be spending as much money trying to fix the problems that you've created. So I had the horse farm maybe four or five months before I even owned a horse. So I was here every day working, trying to understand exactly everything that goes into the business before I even had a horse. And it just kind of worked out that I've, I now have six horses and we enjoy and we ride them all the time. And so it's just, it's something, it's, it's more of a labor of love type of thing now for us, but we enjoy it as well, so it's cool. When I bought it, I was in the prime of my career. And so I depended upon my dad and my managers and my mom as well to do almost all of the work. And so when you're not here a lot, things go a little bit different as many business owners are able to kind of attest to that you don't really have your input, your, your vision upon the place. And I didn't at the time. And so I just relied on a lot of other people to, to kind of do the work and things like that. And so now that I'm retired, I can be here a lot more often, but also I understand the business much more. And when you're here all the time and you understand the business much more, it runs a lot smoother, it runs a lot better. For me, it's been a great process of learning also just kind of developing the business and it's a great brand in this area a lot of people love the things that we're able to do we service the horses very well we service the borders very well and so everyone's pleased and that makes us really really happy as a facility